Good morning. Thank you for joining me again for Kingdom Kids. So today we're starting a new lesson series. We're going to spend the next few weeks talking about Psalm 23. Now a psalm is a book in the Bible that's kind of like a bunch of poems or songs. And Psalm 23 is a really famous poem or song from this book. And most of the book of Psalms was written by King David. And Psalm 23 is a really beautiful poem. And it talks about um, knowing that God will be with you and knowing that God will provide for you. And what's really interesting about this one is that it was probably written um, during a time of great sadness for King David. Now, if you remember, when King David was a little boy, he was just a shepherd boy. And he was the boy that fought against Goliath. And the king at the time, King Saul, brought David into the palace and raised him like a prince. And he taught him to be a leader and he taught him to be a fighter. And King David got to be really popular. He became leader of the army and everyone loved David. He wasn't king yet at this time, but they loved David. And King Saul, who was still the king, got really jealous. He didn't want the people to love David as much as they loved him. So he turned against David. He sent David away. David ran away and was hiding in the hills, and King Saul was chasing him with his armies. And we believe that it was during this time when David was scared, when David was worried, when David was being chased by someone that was supposed to love him and whom David loved. We believe that it was during this time that he wrote this psalm. So I'm going to read the psalm to you, and I'm going to read you the King James Version. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Isn't that amazing? So even during this very scary, dark time in David's life, he knew that God was with him, and he knew that goodness and mercy would follow him all the days of his life. So like I said, for the next few weeks, we'll be talking about Psalm 23. And today we're going to talk about the very first verse. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So what does a shepherd do? Well, a shepherd takes the field, the sheep into the field so they can eat the grass, so they can graze. They milk them and shear them. They make sure the sheep are safe, make sure they don't wander off. They make sure there are no wolves or other wild animals. So how is God like a shepherd? Well, it says in the Bible, that if we believe in God and we follow God, then he is the bread and the water of life. So just like a shepherd takes his sheep out to graze, God can fill our souls with the nourishing food that we need. And God makes sure that we are safe. You know, God sent Jesus down for us to make sure that we would always be with him. And God fills us with the Holy Spirit so that we can help produce the gospel and share it with other people. So I think that God is a lot like a shepherd. And what, So let's talk about the second part, I shall not want. What does that mean? Well, wanting is when you see something you don't have. And sometimes it's something that belongs to somebody else and you start to feel jealous and bitter. And sometimes it's just something new and shiny in a store and you think you deserve that and you get angry when you can't get it or it distracts you from the things you should be doing. You know, those aren't good, healthy feelings. God wants us to focus on all the things that we do have. But those want feelings, they're pretty normal. So how can we deal with them? Well, maybe we can start by making a list of 10 things we do have and 10 things we are grateful for. And we can remember those things every time we want something new. So that's all for today. In the box below, there will be explanation for a little craft you can do to help you remember Psalm 23. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.